What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and today I'm going to be talking about my top three favorite miners for Ethereum. But before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. From my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. All right, make sure you guys check out the affiliate links in the description below for the sponsor and use promo code son of a tech. Today, we're going to be talking about different miners. And the reason why we have three and not one is because different GPUs perform better on different miners. And this is just the way it works. Not only that, this information is always moving quickly. So while the best miner currently might be one of these, Moving on to next week, it could change just depending on the competition in the market and if anybody comes out with better miners. So always try to stay up to date as possible. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about my favorite miners. First, we have Team Red Miner, and this is the one I primarily use in my farm because recently on version 0.8.1, they significantly reduced the power consumption of the Radeon RX 5600s and 5700s basically knocking down my power consumption on my farm significantly, which reduces the cost, of course. Now, they also support Polaris cards and their fee structure is a little funny. It's 0.75% for Polaris GPUs and 1% for all other GPUs, Radeon 7, as well as, of course, the RX 5750. 600s. The last thing that we need to mention about this is they currently do not support RX 6000 series GPUs. So if you have mixed rigs with some 5000 series and some 6000 series, consider either splitting those up and running individual miners that are best for each one respectively, or use a different miner altogether if you want to keep them all in the same system. Your rig and your configuration will determine what is the best or most cost effective for you. Next, we have T-Rex Miner, and T-Rex Miner is for modern NVIDIA GPUs, Maxwell cards and up. Now, I'm not mining on anything lower than Maxwell, and if you are and you need some help with that, let me know in the comment section below. I really don't think you'd be able to mine Ethereum with any of the older GPUs, but you know, if we're looking at different algorithms and so on and so forth. T-Rex supports multiple algorithms as well. Not only does it support Ethereum, but you also have Kapow, for example, for Ravencoin, and Octopus for Conflux. So there are a lot of different options here as far as what coins to mine. It is a pretty comprehensive miner for NVIDIA, really putting it at the top currently. Now, I was mining with NVIDIA GPUs or the 3000 series on Phoenix Miner, and then thanks to you guys on Twitter, for putting me on to, of course, the improvements that T-Rex has made recently for the 3000 series, it is performing better than, of course, Phoenix Miner. So we're gonna share that out with everybody else and let you guys know that T-Rex Miner is currently the best for modern NVIDIA GPUs. The fees are going to be 1% for all algorithms except for Octopus, which is Conflux, and that is a 2% fee. Now, I'm not sure why they have a 2% fee. I We'll try to dig into that later if you guys are interested or if you could let me know in the comment section below. But a 2% fee for Octopus is currently what it's at. Finally, we have Phoenix Miner. Now, what is Phoenix Miner going to be used for? Really, Phoenix Miner is going to be used for mixed card rigs as well as just, frankly, anything else. So if it's not a modern NVIDIA GPU or it's not a GPU that is Polaris or Navi, on, of course, AMD, then you're gonna go with Phoenix Miner. Phoenix Miner is also what you'll need to use for RX 6000 series GPUs, for example. Now, Phoenix Miner's been around for quite a while. It's been one of the top miners for a lot of people, and for good reason, it reports the highest hash rate in its little console. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it has the highest hash rate, and depending on the version right now of Phoenix Miner, there's some weirdness that goes on with stability. So like I said, this is for everything else because it just kind of has to be everything else. And then its dev fee is gonna be 0.65%. 
with a dual mining dev fee if you want to do ET hash and Blake 2S of 0.9%. So that pretty much covers everything for Phoenix Miner. These are my top three miners and what I alternate between frequently. Of course, I'm always looking for new ones and so on. The last thing we need to mention about Phoenix Miner is that currently, according to most OS operations, simple mining and Hive OS and so on, 5.5C is not fully stable, at least in Ubuntu, and they recommend going down to 5.4. And that is just something that you want to keep in mind. If you are having issues currently on 5.5C, consider knocking it down and then let me know your results. So that pretty much covers my top three favorite miners for mining Ethereum. And these miners are available on Linux and Windows, as well as the specialized distribution such as Simple Mining and Hive OS. Links to the specialized distributions for mining Ethereum will be in the description below. Please use them as they are affiliate links and it helps me out a lot. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them, of course, down in the comment section. I may not get to them. We are starting to work on getting an army of comment responders and they are gonna be trusted, knowledgeable people to the best of my ability. If you find issues with any of them, obviously go ahead and get at me on Twitter, at Son of a Tech, and we will just rely on the community to help everybody out. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.